big thank you to all for making it possible to come today, tomorrow and for a couple of them tomorrow and day after also. It is indeed a, a real good feel factor when at a one single shout, 30, 40 people are actually available for the institute. I think a big round of applause for each one of us to come forward. I think uh, this is the rarest body in the country or the world which actually sees this kind of positivity among the members. Good morning. I am the new kid in this technological center of ICI. Uh, as a AI is a new kid, I see Umesh Sharma is a new person. I will be learning a lot of from you all. And uh, the master and the technocrat of ICI in technology. And it is said that one expert should listen to another expert to remain as an expert. So welcome you all. Thanks that you have taken uh, time out of your busy schedule. Uh, good morning everyone. Uh, myself, uh, CA Deepak and uh, I have been given five minutes slot to talk about AI. Uh, first of all, let us uh, understand the myths that is going around. So AI is not only chat GPT. Chat GPT is a form of AI or you can say large language models which has become prominent nowadays. There are other AI models such as uh, image models which you can leverage. Uh, so the myth is chat GPT is not only the AI that we are talking here. Uh, how AI can be beneficial for CS or what uh, CS can do in this domain? Predominantly I find two big opportunity uh, having been in this field for last seven plus years. One of the most important thing is uh, that the enterprise clients, they are struggling is to quantify the ROI getting generated from these uh, AI solutions. And that is where the VCAs can play a big role. Uh, and trust me, uh, nobody can understand and decode numbers better than a chartered accountant. Uh, so that is where the biggest opportunity lies in terms of deriving the tangible and quantifiable ROI from a AI solution to your business. Okay, we know numbers, we know processes, we know what sort of automation needs to be done and we can identify those tangible ROIs for our clients and give them this solution. So this can be one of the biggest solution which a, a chartered accountant can delve into this uh, process of um, AI. Uh, the other big thing that I can see here is with respect to uh, audit and not using AI in the audit, it's auditing the AI system. Uh, we are seeing a lot of regulations, a lot of guidelines, a lot of policies getting rolled out in terms of you know, transparency of an AI model, uh, biasness of an AI model and that's where the biggest picture lies. Uh, we are a good auditors as well. So what we can do, we can assess the data that has been used for the purpose of model training, we can assess the algorithms that has been used for the purpose of model training and identify whether there is any risk, okay? And nobody understands risk better than we chartered accountants. When we have this risk, we can create audit reports, we can share it with the management, uh, with the AI team, with the research team of our clients and, you know, can be a game changer in this regard. So these two are, you know, the biggest uh, service offerings that I see for a chartered accountant in the near future. One is how we can generate those ROIs, uh, you know, quantify those ROIs reports for our clients from the AI solutions and the second is with respect to uh, system audit for an AI. So that's where uh, I think the chartered accountant uh, should delve more into, you know, reliance part of it. Uh, compliance would be there, but now the businesses are looking more in terms of how we can create those value addition for their business. So I think uh, uh, AI is going to be a game changer. Uh, we need to embrace it, adopt it, upskill ourselves uh, so that we become competitive in the market. Thank you.